Poland, as well as Ukraine's other neighboring partners, have to shoot down Russian missiles before they enter NATO airspace, Polish Foreign Minister Rodoslav Sikorski has said. Membership in NATO doesn't cancel the responsibility of each country to protect its own airspace. It is our own constitutional duty. Personally, I believe that when enemy missiles are heading towards our airspace, it will be legitimate self-defense to shoot them down, because once they cross our airspace, the risk of someone being injured by the debris is significant. Radoslav Sikorski, Minister of Foreign Affairs of Poland, in an interview with Financial Times. In an interview with the BBC, Sikorsky said Poland could help Ukraine protect nuclear power plants from Russian attacks. The Chernobyl nuclear accident happened in Ukraine. Imagine that a Russian drone or missile goes off course instead of flying towards Poland or Romania, as has already happened. It hits one of the Ukrainian nuclear power plants. I think we should help Ukraine protect its nuclear power plants. Radoslav Sikorsky, Minister of Foreign Affairs of Poland, in an interview with BBC. In Poland itself, the majority of citizens expect the authorities to take more decisive actions. This is confirmed by the results of a poll conducted by SV Research Company. However, the matter concerns the destruction of Russian missiles and drones not over the Ukrainian territory, but over Polish airspace. The question was, should Poland shoot down objects flying over our territory during the Russian attack on Ukraine, even if it's not sure what kind of objects they are? 58.5% of respondents answered positively. Poles are waiting for their ministry to respond because enemy drones have been flying into their airspace and the Air Force is doing nothing. Where is the defense ministry at that moment? It is understandable that Sikorsky is reacting this way and that this position coincides with the Ukrainian. Therefore, everything still depends on NATO partners to whom it has not yet flown. But they very much do not want it to fly. Ukraine has the right to defend itself, Dutch defense minister has said. Therefore, it is necessary to strengthen the Ukrainian air defense system, including all of its components. It is also necessary to lift the restrictions on Western weapons strikes on military targets on the territory of the aggressor country. The Netherlands support the lifting of such bans. The Allies will continue to fulfill their obligations to support Kyiv, the head of the Dutch Defense Ministry assured in an interview with Radio Liberty. But the air defense system on the border with Ukraine will cover only a relatively small area, he said. Even if the Allies deploy aircraft to defend Ukrainian airspace, there will be a risk of a direct clash between the NATO and Russian air forces. This is exactly the type of escalation that we are trying to avoid. I think it is also in Ukraine's interest that we try to avoid it. We should always look for creative ways to help Ukraine. But we also have to wait in each case whether the benefits outweigh the risks. Ruben Breckelmans, Minister of Defense of the Netherlands, in an interview with Radio Liberty. During a joint press conference in Warsaw, Lithuanian President Gitanas Nausiada and Polish President Andrzej Duda said that NATO is currently discussing whether it is acceptable to shoot down Russian missiles in Ukrainian airspace by the alliance's air defense. As Duda noted, NATO leaders have different views on this issue. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Yulia Bil, UATV News.